Cavaliers, the new big three, LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Love. Yeah. Odds makers have them uh, five to two chances at winning the title. Your take on that? Um, I, number one, I think I'm, I'm hoping as a fan that the Bulls get it together, that Rose gets healthy, uh, and he's as healthy as he's ever going to be, and I think they can be an obstacle right away. Number one, I would not, I would, I'm, I'm a big believer. I'm a, uh, A, I have to, full disclosure, I am the absolute uh, regional president of two fan clubs. Okay. Joachim Noah. Okay. And Pau Gasol. I'm a, I'm, I'm a president of their fan clubs in the Northeast region quadrant of the United States of America. I believe in them firmly. I think the Bulls have a chance to, uh, the, the Bulls are an obstacle, no question. But Rose, you know, I just pray he comes back to what he was. I've seen every great player and every fast guy in the last 50 years, there was something different about him. That explosion at the end of the coast to coast and that ability to move laterally in the air is unprecedented. I mean literally unprecedented. He was different and that was special. And if he can't get all that back, he can be very good, but he won't be special again. Go ahead, Stephen A. B Bob, I, I, I've been on the record saying two things. Number one, I definitely think the Bulls, is, it, even though I would favor Cleveland, I'm not saying it's a gimme. I think the Bulls could very well end up representing the East in the NBA Finals if Derrick Rose stays healthy. And I've called Derrick Rose the perfect successor to the Jordan era in Chicago mm. because I believe this kid's athleticism, his abilities are off the chart at 100%, Bob. I have said there is no way that the Miami Heat make it to four consecutive NBA Finals with a healthy Derrick Rose standing in the way. What do you say to those things? Uh, that I that we were in uh, simpatico. I mean, I, I believe that that's all true. Absolutely. That no, I totally do. I've been saying this. I believe in that. But it's it's a big if. It's an if if. if. Yeah. Right, I got two thoughts about the Cavaliers. One is um, I, I cannot wait to see if they take full advantage of Kevin Love's ability to throw an outlet pass. He's the last of the Mohicans when that comes. He's the greatest outlet passer we have left. If they take advantage of that, and if, I don't know how Dave Blatt's going to coach. I don't know what he's going to do. But if he doesn't take advantage of that and, and, and want them to be an, uh, an up-tempo team, and, and then I, I think it's wasting an asset. Number two, just will they be able to construct a defense? That's all. I mean, a proper defense. Because if they don't construct a, a really good defense, uh, there will be a, eventually a limit to what they can accomplish. Mm. I got two issues with the Cavs. Kyrie Irving likes to have the basketball oh, yeah. in his hands, and he likes to shoot the basketball high volume. I'm not sure how that's going to click early on with mm -hmm. LeBron. I'm not sure LeBron's going to love that, and he's going to have to find some flow with Kyrie that won't be, be easy early on. Mm -hmm. And Kevin Love, I get your outlet pass, and, and listen, below the rim rebounding, he's, he's at the top of my list. But is he going to be comfortable taking and making the big shots in big games that he will get mm -hmm. because he's going to be open. He's going to get those three-point mm -hmm. shots that he got all the time in Minnesota, but nobody was watching. Mm -hmm. Now everybody's watching. That's a very good point, and I, I like to think that he has that pedigree. I'm a big fan of his, too, but that's a very valid point. He has not been in the position, never played a second of mm -hmm. playoff basketball. We know that. Yeah. Yeah. Nor Kyrie, for that. And, and you're right about Kyrie, but it hasn't, is it interesting? LeBron's already taken a it's public deferential high road with he, regard to Kyrie. Um, yeah. I, I trust LeBron's got a plan in his mm -hmm. head. But let's be serious here. Uh, uh, the ball's got to be in LeBron's hands uh, an awful lot of the time. If they're, yeah. gonna, if they're or else why have LeBron James? Okay, so who's your favorite coming out of the East? Well, I know you said uh, you're the president of the... the well, I'm going to go Chicago. Chicago. I'm going to go Chicago. Chicago. My guys, but once again, there is the if about how far back does Derrick Rose come. But, I, if, but yes, I, I think I still like Chicago. All right. Stephen A., you had something to say? I was getting ready to say, you know what, uh, Bob, I, I would say this. I believe you're right, obviously, come playoff time. But I think the regular season, sort of to elevate uh, uh, Kyrie Irving's confidence even more, let him know that he's going to be needed, let him know that you're not just coming here to take away everything. I think LeBron is making the right moves in terms of being deferential to Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving's a bad little guard, mm -hmm. meaning good. And I think that the ball should be in his hands, particularly during the regular season a lot, because I think that takes some of the load off LeBron James. And you could just use LeBron James and keep pivotal moments to have the ball in his hands. What do you make of that? Well, I, I think it's true. And I just think that the, 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 the guy that, that really most resembles LeBron James historically in terms of being able to run your offense to a forward, guess who? My old friend number 33, who I think are the all two time, my starting all-time forwards on the all-time team. Th that's it. It's Larry Bird and LeBron James now. Sorry, Tim Duncan. God, I hate to knock oh, you out. Oh, boy. But, but you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, uh, hate to knock you out. But, but uh, no, and I, if LeBron 
study, you know, really show them some old Larry Bird films and how, as a forward, uh, you can you can ingratiate your, you can you can take over a game that way, and LeBron can do that. So we're out of time, which means we don't get to talk about the Spurs. You mentioned Tim Duncan, and that's that's okay with me. Well, are you sure they're going to win it all anyway? Are you so sure? Because really we can matter. extend this, you know. No. Oh, right. can we? No. Well, I do want to ask you this before we let you go. Sure. Uh, Stephen A. and Skip got into a, a pretty heated debate at the top of the show. 